I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Timber Creek Avid is hosting a school supply drive to benefit local elementary schools. They need crayons, markers, tissues, and anything else that you can think of. Drop off all school supplies to N107 or N116. Boot camp. Well, first of all, it's uh, pressure under fire. Uh, the biggest thing is getting them ready for spring ball, uh, putting a little pressure on them to perform. Uh, have them understand when you get tired, you make mistakes, and you have to focus harder. And hopefully they'll take those lessons into uh, spring ball and uh, be able to do their job just a little bit better. Uh, work on discipline, things like that, because the football requires a, a lot of discipline, and uh, boot camp is perfect for that. What do you believe the purpose of boot camp is? Uh, just to see where everyone's at physically and mentally. To definitely instill teamwork in one another and kind of build a relationship in a way. Um, also, it's kind of just to see who really wants to be in the program and like who really wants to be out here playing football with all of us together. I believe it show, it brings out a, a stage of like who's committed to the team and who's not. Um, it's really just like bring us all together like as a team like build that bond that we all working out harder than there and nobody's going to quit on each other. Um, I believe the purpose of boot camp is to see who's going to be stronger and who's going to be able to fight through. I mean the coaches have to, you know, we lost a bunch of guys last season. We lost our star running back. We lost a bunch of our wide receivers. We, we only have one quarterback now, and we lost a bunch of defensive pieces. So this is the coach seeing who's going to be tough, who's going to be able to fight through, and, uh, and, and really be able to uh, um, figure out who's going to be able to fit in those positions. I think it's for discipline and to weed out the weak and just to make a team better all around. How do you physically and mentally prepare yourself for this week? You don't. You just do it. You gotta be ready at all times. Kind of just hydrate yourself and know that like you're gonna be fought. you're gonna have to be fighting out here. I try to eat uh, a healthier breakfast and drink lots of water. Uh, like he, like Carter said, like um, eat better, drink a lots of water, and get uh, plenty of sleep. I just tell myself like I can get through anything, and as long as I have my teammates with me, that I can pretty much get through. It. Go and like know that you're not gonna ring the bell, and then have your teammates watch after you and you watch after your teammates back too. Yeah, watch, especially watch after your teammates back and keep that mindset that it's all easy. It's easy every time. All those up downs are easy. Uh, physically, just by like conditioning, like we, like the week before we did a bit of running drills and then like I ran on the weekend a little bit to prepare condition for conditioning and then mentally like you just got to think like how bad you want to keep playing football and then that like prepares you to not quit because you know you're like I'm determined to keep Do you have it in you to quit? Absolutely not. Come on. No, I do not have it in me to quit. No. No, not at all. I don't, no. No. Never. No. No, no, definitely not. No. Mom did raise, you know, a loser. Yeah, never, never quit. I love uh, spring football because you can teach. You're not uh, getting ready for the next opponent and, and working on what they do. It's more about Timber Creek and what we do. Boot camp. Well, it's uh, pressure under fire. Timber Creek Cheer will be hosting their 8th annual Powder Puff Game on Friday, May 10th at 2 p.m. Wristbands will be sold during lunches on the week of May 6th through May 10th. Don't forget the game will be held at the baseball field, not the football field. Be ready for Powder Puff. Catch you later.